got to get into the news today, and that is Andy Reid and Brett Veach signing contract extensions. I got my phone here. I got some notes here. No graphics. Just me talking to you guys here on the Kansas City Chiefs report. So both guys have ex have agreed to stay in Kansas City. And boy, we can't say enough about Andy Reid. We'll start with Andy Reid. 22nd season in the NFL as a head coach, only behind Bill Belichick in uh, among active coaches in all-time wins. I think including the playoffs, he has 230 career victories. That is an absurd number. Think about that. You play 16 games a year. If you went 16-0 and 0, uh, for a decade straight, that would only be 160 wins. That shows how long he's been around, how successful he's, went, he's been, considering he has 230 career victories. When you factor in the playoffs, you keep Andy Reid around. That is a great, great thing. This is, of course, his eighth season in Kansas City. He's made the playoffs every year but one. We know he's coming off the Super Bowl AFC Championship game the year before, and that's the goal again this year. And, hey, Andy Reid always had a, you know, a bit of a reputation, though. Could have get done, couldn't get it done in the big game. Well, he's proven that uh, to be false the past couple of years. Uh, now that he's got Patrick Mahomes, now that he's got a legitimate defense led by Steve Spagnola that he can win the big game, and he is absolutely deserving of this contract extension. Uh, I, I'm thrilled. I'm very, very happy. We've talked about Eric Bieniemy a lot. It's it's pretty likely he will leave this offseason, which makes it that much more important that uh, Andy Reid sticks around for the long haul. Now, we'll talk about Brett Beach more in just a second, but first, who is more important to the Chiefs' success? I will make this the pinned comment on today's video. Who is more important? Is it Andy Reid? Or is it Brett Veach? Type AR for Andy Reid. Type BV for Brett Veach. Who is more critical to the Chiefs' success? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments section. All right, now we talk about Brett Veach a little bit. Obviously, younger guy, GM on the rise, right? Like thinking dynasty in Kansas City. That's what both these guys are thinking in Kansas City. He's been with the organization uh, for eight years now. Fourth as a GM. And can we talk about what this guy has accomplished? I mean, first of all, the balls. Uh, from him and Andy Reid to trade up for Mahomes when they did in 2017, people thought they were crazy. Well, you know what they were? They were right. They were absolutely right. They had Alex Smith, who was playing like a pro bowler at the time. By the way, kudos to him making his way all the way back with the Washington football team. But not a lot of teams would have done what they did when they traded up and got Patrick Mahomes back in 2017. So you do that. You've signed him now to this 10-year extension worth half a billion, which is very team-friendly, by the way. What Brett Beach pulled off this offseason, oh, $177 in cap space? No problem. Mahomes, 10-year extension. Let's restructure Sam Watkins. Chris Jones, yep, we're going to extend you as well. We'll bring back to Marcus Robinson. Bashad Breeland's going to stick around. We're going to keep him in the fold. Mike Pinnell is going to come back as well. Like, is there anything this guy can't do? Like, this is the best general manager in the NFL right now. What he's been able to accomplish, what he's been able to pull off, is nothing short of outstanding and the way he's been able to draft too. Look, he hasn't hit on every pick. Not every pick is going to hit, but he's been right more often than he's been wrong. Everybody laughed at the Clyde edwards helaire pick. That's worked out pretty well. Like he's, including me, by the way, I wasn't a big fan of it. Well, he was right. Andy Reid identified him and he selected him. And hey, this front office led by Brett Beach is a very, very good group, which is why I'm very, very excited that these two guys, Andy Reid and Brett Beach, are going to be here for the long haul. I can't wait. I'm fired up. I hope you guys are fired up too, because this is a very, very good thing that we are seeing in Kansas City. So get going with that US. I keep talking about the Chiefs, how great they are. Make some money on them at chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. It's chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. All you got to do is go to that link and enter that promo code Chiefs125 to get 125% deposit bonus. Who wouldn't want to take advantage of that deal? Because, uh, hey, it's the uh, it's the best deal out there. By the way, if you're on the fence, if you're like, nah, I don't know, for new customers, we have extended our deal for another week. We told you it would end today, but we're going to extend it for you guys. After you get going with BetUS, email us, Chiefs at Chatsports.com. To redeem, guess what? We're going to hook you guys up with a free Chiefs jersey. So go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Get going with bet US. Then email us Chiefs at chatsports.com. Take advantage of that free jersey deal. I promise you guys, you will not regret it in the end if you take advantage. So go ahead and do so at chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Promo code Chiefs125. Then email us Chiefs 
at chatsports.com. All right, let's talk about Legereus Sneed a little bit here. Uh, he is returning to practice this week, uh, according to Andy Reid. There could be some momentum for he him to return to the field as soon as this Sunday against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, I'm not ready to go there, but we knew this was on the horizon when the Chiefs designated him to return, what, a week and a half ago now? It's almost been two weeks, I think, this Wednesday. That gives you a 21-day window to commit to him fully returning. So, hey, if he doesn't return this week, I fully expect him to be activated next week and be ready to go for week 12. Legereus Steve was playing like, I know it was only a couple of games, kind of playing like an all-pro the first couple of games. Uh, passer rating against was under 35, which is incredible, according to Pro Football uh, Reference there. He uh, had two interceptions in the first two and a half games before he went down with the broken collarbone. He was playing fantastic, and with the way Charvarius Ward has been playing, I think it's fair to assume that if he's healthy, Legereus Sneed, he deserves an opportunity to compete for that other outside corner spot opposite of Bashad Breeland. He's played at a good enough level. I think if he's healthy against the Raiders this week, he will get some snaps. Not saying he'll be the full throttle guy, but I think he will get an opportunity to play, maybe even as soon as this weekend. Speaking of that game, Chiefs Raiders, we need some revenge. Predict the score for me. Andy Reid talked earlier today, too, how the Raiders, uh, they earned that victory lap at Arrowhead, but uh, that ain't the Chiefs style, which <laughs> you, you don't think the Chiefs are fired up for this game? If you don't, you are absolutely wrong. They're going to be ready to go. I got the Chiefs big. Give me Kansas City 38-20 to over the Las Vegas Raiders. By the way, you can go bet on this game at BetUS, so be sure to go do that. But predict your score. Go bet at BetUS. Chiefs versus Raiders. Sunday night football, it's going to be an excellent, excellent and fun football game. So go ahead and do that. Uh, predict the score for me in the comments. 38-20 Chiefs. I think Kansas City absolutely blows them out. So, uh we will see there what happens in the end. But, hey, great day, right? Great day. Andy Reid, Brett Beach, they signed contract extensions. They're sticking around in Kansas City. I am fired up. And, hey, with Jerry Sneed, he might be back too. So uh, I think that that's a lot to be excited about. That's a lot to be uh, be thankful for here on a Monday afternoon. And we know that uh, old, uh, old Andy Reid uh, coming off a of bye week, uh, pretty uh, he's pretty good. So I like the Chiefs' chances to go into Vegas and take care of business. By the way, big game, too. You win this game against the Raiders, <laughs> division zone. AFC West is toast. The Raiders have to win this game because Chiefs are 8-1, and one, Raiders are 8-3, and three, or 6-3. and three. If the Raiders win, they're only a game back, and they have the tiebreaker having swept the Chiefs. If uh, Kansas City wins, then uh, division's over. You split with the Raiders, you're up at, what, three games with five to go? Good night. It's, it, it, it's all over. Six to go, whatever it is. It's all over at that point. So big game on Sunday. We'll talk more about this matchup throughout the week. Before I sign off, get subscribed to the Kansas City Chiefs report. Hey, no graph, not a lot of graphics today, but I'm still here breaking down the news for you guys. It's Brett Beach and Andy Reid signed extensions. But Jarius Sneed could return this week. We'll have more for you guys later on in the week. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you never, ever miss a video here on the Chiefs report. I'm Harrison Graham signing off. We'll see you very, very soon.